If you haven't done the steps that I'm going to explain right now, you might have not made the best possible armors you can get. So currently in Divas of Creation, there are life skills called cooking, mining, fishing, gathering, lumbering, and crafting. And between those six, one of them stands supreme, which is crafting. Crafting is one of the most overpowered systems that you can use in this game to create yourself some of the best armors and for those who are just playing the game normally opening chests using those types of loots or going to the market and just buying it from the vendor then you might be missing out you might genuinely be missing out on a lot of stat buffs so here's how it works go to a crafting station there's one in town of radius and then once you're in the crafting station there's three types of crafting there's crafting tools crafting weapons and then crafting armors and then within those items there's different tiers of crafting levels there's the beginner tiers there's the uncommon tiers there's the rare tiers there's the epic tiers and then the legendary tiers of crafting and each and every one of them requires you to have different crafting levels and in order to get crafting levels well you just have to start crafting so right here if i craft this as you can see my crafting level will go up just by 8 exp which isn't a lot but the better items you craft the more exp you get so before we get more in depth into crafting how does this actually work so like i explained earlier there are life skills and the main life skills that you will need for crafting is lumber gathering fishing and mining these four are all connected within each other to create items and crafting because when you go to a crafting item you will see that they need resources to be crafted so for this one you need animal fur which can be obtained through mobs you need moonstones which are like the white stones that pop up from time to time there's also rocks and leather and the further you go the more material materials you'll need but then once you gather those materials for the items that you want you could then go ahead and craft and you might ask yourself why is crafting op in the first place why do you want to craft well that is because of the crafting perks on the top right hand side of the crafting station you will see that there's different stat buffs that you can get when you craft an item whether that is max mana luck max hp hp regen climbing speed max block stamina and mana regen you have a percent chance a 14.3 percent chance of getting that on your armor now this is all different for each type of crafting for example if you want to use a weapon you want to craft a weapon as you can see there's only four here now the perks include critical hit chance critical hit power magic power and physical power but then when i go to tools it's also very different you have drop multiplier luck and harvest multiplier you could probably tell what buffs they already give just because of the name but let's go back to the armors after the game picks you a crafting perk it will then pick a rarity between common uncommon rare epic and legendary the better the rarity the higher stats you will get so for example last night i crafted my new avadon helmet before i had the dragon heart steel armor i forgot what it was called but those armor pieces were found throughout just me playing the game and also through the market so they weren't crafted they were drops meaning that they don't get craft bonuses but now comparing that to my new armor you can see that they have craft bonuses my helmet has a craft bonus of luck which is a three percent common my chest plate has a craft bonus of climbing speed which is plus four because it's uncommon and then for example my gloves have a crafting bonus of luck plus 12 because it is rare comparing that to my helmet as you can see it is around what four times more than a common which is insane so in general adding craft bonuses plus the set bonuses while having all of the pieces just grants you an insane an insane amount of of buffs to your character and then that's the same thing for the weapons as well as you can see my weapon that i crafted has a critical hit chance of plus 10 percent and then my tools that i crafted have different buffs as well like my pickaxe 15 percent uncommon harvest multiplier my axe 10 percent common harvest multiplier and my sickle 15 percent uncommon harvest multiplier and it keeps going on and you kind of get the gist and then once you craft your armors and weapons there's one other way that i know of to making it even better that way is to upgrading it. now if you don't know how to upgrade weapons or armor pieces you have to get weapon enchant scrolls these are obtained through chests through a quest and even through the seasonal battle pass which is currently giving out free scrolls but once you obtain those put it onto your armor pieces put it onto the ones that have crafting bonuses and that's how you basically create op armor weapons and tools now if there are other ways to make your armors better definitely leave it in the comments below but with that being said i'll see you guys later peace